Hi everybody, this is Pramita here. Um, this is going to be a very quick setup video of my Chic Sparrow Pocket Traveler's Notebook. Uh, this is a deluxe. It has two pockets in the front and one long pocket and one secretarial one at the back. And uh, this is going to be my everyday carry. Um, one thing I'd like to say is that though I like chunky traveler's notebooks, but I find that um, most of the times they are not very functional for me. And even though I like to get that chunky look, I would personally prefer a non-chunky one because um, I like to be, uh, you know, a functional kind of person with a little bit of prettiness thrown in. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, most of the things that I'm using here are from Planner Society December and January kits. And um, another thing is most of them are DIY, the stuff that some of the things that I've done. And I've tried to keep the things pretty uh, flexible and non-permanent because if you want to use those ephemera and die cuts later in any of your other projects or in any other planners, you can do so. So uh, that's one of the things that I try to keep in mind. So let's begin. For this, I have chosen, actually I'm using three inserts. So uh, this is my weekly insert. And this is my, uh, this is my actually uh, sort of made from scrap papers. I've just uh, put some watercolor flowers over here. Uh, and I might uh, jot down something whenever it, something comes to my mind. So that's going to be a brain dump sort of thing. And the other one is a monthly. Now I have not bought any of these uh printed as such the notebooks came in some other orders that i had placed in some shops and some happy mails so basically i've not spent anything on the notebooks and this is made from scrap pieces of paper so after making you know a traveler size uh, traveler's notebook in personal size you are left with a few scraps of paper what I've done is I've just stapled those scraps and made them into a tiny notebook but they are not of this this is not of the pocket size you know this is a tad smaller as you can see yeah but I'm not bothered about that because I like to add things which are of different heights and you know it gives a sort of sense of dimension uh, into the planners or whatever so i'm just going to put these three notebooks over here even though this has four strings i'm not going to use four notebooks over here because as i said i don't like um to make my planners non-functional because then what's the purpose of a planner but i want all kinds of prettiness in this planner so that uh, it looks pretty and it's functional so that's what i've done over here uh, so the first thing I've done is I have made some dashboards uh, from the Planner Society papers and what I've done is basically I have made them into folders. So what I have is I have folders like this. Uh, I've simply folded these pieces of paper and added some pockets. Uh, in the contrasting colors so I've used I've made a pocket folder sort of thing from one scrap of paper one sheet of paper and I'm going to wrap this this is my weekly and I'm going to wrap this around the uh, monthly monthly insert uh, no I'm going to wrap this around the weekly because I keep my monthly in the front and I'm going to put it in the last string that way I don't bulk up everything altogether so this is going to be my one insert and the second insert is also very random sort of thing okay so I have made this one also into a folder but I have not added any pocket in the front so what I've done is I've made a cluster now I'm going to show you everything is non-permanent and everything can be taken out so what I've done is I've basically 
uh, I've stuck these with washi tapes. If I hope this is visible. So you can see these are all stuck with washi tapes and um, this is just a scrap piece. I just wanted to put a layer sort of thing. And this is a tiny doily that came with the kit. I have just slipped this in over here um, on the side. Yeah. And I'm also going to put the, you know, the dress. I've chosen this and I'm going to layer this up over this tiny scrap. I might put in this. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it like this. And then I'm going to stick this love. This is from a different paper pack. Uh, but I liked this word. And being February, I wanted to use this. And this is another die cut from the kit. So I'm going to keep it here. And I'm just going to put these with the help of a paper clip. Now you can see how I'm doing this. So it's done. So I want this to be, you know, when I don't want this to be in this kind of decor, I can take it out and do something else. So similarly in the inside, as you can see, I've just stuck a coffee cup that was in the kit. And this is from a different paper pack. This is also from a different paper pack. And I've just attached them with some paper clips. And over here I have another die cut which I'm going to use. I'm going to just put it like so. And I have not laminated any of the dashboards. I'm not using any tear dashboards from any kind of shops or anything of that sort. So I'm just going to take this just to So I'm going to just layer this. And I'm going to put this over here. But I want this to show. So it might be I'm going to put the dress a little bit wonky like so. So I'm going to use the washi tape and I'm going to show how you can do that. So I'm just staring off. A bit of a washi tape. I have my die cut. I'm not going to stick the whole thing. I'm just going to put a tiny bit and I'm going to make a loop sort of thing and I'm going to just attach that. Now it does two things. Once it gives a kind of dimension, it gives that lifted effort effect, sorry, and also, um, you know, it is non-permanent. So if you want, you can take it off and do something else. So that's one thing. Now, let's come to the pockets. So this is my front pocket. This is just a packaging. I have just trimmed off some bits. Um, and I've used that. And what I'm going to do is I have a coffee cup, big coffee cup over here. And also a purse slash planner sort of thing so I like to keep it like this I'm going to make it in a, at an angle I'm going to keep it at an angle so that both are visible and I'm going to fix this with a paper clip once again this is a thick big paper clip I have and I'm just going to fix this up with a paper clip that's that Okay, and over here there's another pocket and I want to put this die cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use this bow, Kate Spade paper clip. And just a second. So let me work this out. So I'm just going to fix this. Sorry. So I'm just going to fix this now. Um, I have been meaning to do this for a while now, like how I set up my planners. Uh, I try to keep them very functional and quite pretty to look at so that I can 
you know i feel like going back and writing in them so i have my two notebooks already done and there's still two more strings to do the next one so this is a brain dump watercolor uh, scrap piece of uh, thing that i have and i'm going to use this piece of vellum this came in the kit once again i have just used a paper clip to line these two up as you can see if you want you can change this up you can do whatever you like so i will change a few things maybe uh, later on not right now because uh, i am a person who one who you know if i get comfortable in any kind of um, any kind of setups i usually don't want to change that because um, i find that that might uh, um you know that might not be very functional for me so i'm putting another die cut over here uh, so this is going to be like so i hope this is in frame because i can't see actual stuff so this is a die cut from a different paper pack this is from an indian brand so i have this so this is the middle part the brain dump section and i still can put in a few things so what i'm planning on doing is i'm planning on putting this acetate piece now this is not from the kit uh, and this is a, a pocket clear pocket folder that i have made from laminating sheets so i am going to use these two so what i'm going to do is i would like to add a little bit of dimension on top of this flower so i'll just pass this this is i think from via memory keepers acetate pack because uh, it's very difficult to get pieces of acetate in india uh, and they are pretty expensive also i presume so i'm just going to slip in this uh, folder sort of thing that i have laminated and made um i'm just going to pass it through the strings so now i have this um, clear folder it has pockets over here so i'm still using some die cuts from a different pack and this is also from the same pack this is a mambi journaling card what i've done is basically i have um just slipped in the card and then just to give a background to whatever i've been doing and uh, this is also a you know journaling card sort of you know you can use these die cuts in card making and stuff so i had um you know you can chop this part up and make it into two different um die cuts but i didn't do so what i've done is i've just made a v sort of structure and i'm just going to slip this uh on top of my cover so i'm just going to do this just to add a little bit of interest because this is a smaller part so that's that and um i also wanted to add a few stuff to it because i think i'm going to add a small uh, pocket that came with the kit and i'm not sure where i would like that to be so i might put it over here or i might put it somewhere on the acetate sheet maybe uh so we'll go through that later on um so that's that and i already have cut down some of the sticker sheets that i want to use in this planner so i'm just going to slip those in these are very functional stickers i am i don't have a ton to plan uh you know in my household anyways but um some things have to be kept in mind and i'm just trying to do that so that's that and i'm still not sure where i would like my pocket to be because okay so if i put it over here it's not going to be big enough it's not going to be big enough and if i put it over here then it's going to be okay so now i'm not using this pocket maybe i'm going to use it later on so i'm i've kept that okay 
so now I would like to put in some other stuff that I have in my stash and what I would do is I would like to put in a backer card sort of thing so this is a packaging that was in the January kit and I'm going to use this packaging as a backing and you'll see what it does so it's going to be like so and I'm going to put some other die cuts over there um, and see how I do that so I'm going to put it like so it's a very similar aspect uh, of that of a dashboard and I'm doing it like so I hope this is visible and my setup is complete and what I want to do is I just want to put a journaling card on top now once again I want this to stay for a while but not in a permanent way so what I've done is I have attached a piece of washi and I'm going to keep it like so see it adds a dimension if you want you can take it off and my setup is complete and now I can go back and add a few paper clips if I want these are all from planner society and my setup is done so I hope you have liked this very simple yet functional setup I like to keep things very uh, simplistic sort of thing yet pretty so that's my take on uh, setting up my pocket uh, travelers notebook so bye bye for now